Hello my dear friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Akimba and I will teach you how to do the taps. In the last video I explained to you how to do the bobs and today I will explain you how to do the taps. It's already different kinds of the flare and you can grow your skills with the different types of the flare with your bottle and do your flare with this style. But before I explain you how to do the taps. Join to my Instagram profile where I post a lot of tutorial videos how to do the flare. Yeah, you can learn a lot from there. And don't forget to subscribe my channel, like this video and drop the comments below. Okay guys, today I will explain you few techniques, few taps techniques. The first one I want to explain. So the first step, what you must do, the bottle by reverse grip like this, my leg, and then you throw in the bottle with the one spin only, and then turn in your hand like this, and do some tap here, just by the neck, this way. So you tapping the bottle and just catch as you can, so like this, just one tap. You need to do the tap grads, then you can join the other tap. Just do one tap and catch. You can catch to the other hand. Just try to do the tap, the first tap. Like this, not like this. Do as I'm showing you here. So because the, this tap looks better for my opinion. At least it's unusual. After that, when you do that, I'm throwing the bottle. Do this tap, just one tap. The bottle goes and uh, do just half of the spin. And you beat the neck from this way by your hand. So, and catching to straight grip. So, look at my tap. Now I'm turning my hand. Look, when I'm tapping here, I'm same time I'm turning the hand and catching bottle here. So, all together. Nothing difficult, just right technique. Start to think right and yeah, think first. And then try, just do it right, that's I'm explaining to you right now, and you will do this. And the second tip, uh, this is the calibrate uh, stall and the taps, but it also looks great, and this is the bit of difficulty than before. And yeah, it's also for the advanced bartenders, because in the beginning this must be difficult, but you can try anyway. So the, this technique looks like this. So what the difference here? Now I'm joining the stall, the elbow stall. And you also can practice the taps and stall same time. And look, I do this to the left hand. So I'm doing the stall to the left hand, but tapping by my right hand. So it's look already different than usual because I'm doing with the both hands. And also you can do here, for example, and keeping the shaker. What I'm doing first, first of all, I want to explain to you, you need to turn your body, you need to do one step from the right to left, if you right handly, if you left handly, you do the from the other side, from the left to right, so I'm the right handly and I'm doing from the right, from the right I'm doing the one step to the left, and same time I just do the one easy thumb roll, yeah, then I'm throw bottle, behind with the uh, one spin only and catch to the elbow stall to the left hand this is the first step you must learn after that every next move it's easily than the stall because the stall to the left hand it's not easy for everyone not everyone but mostly using only one hand and now I explain to you how to use both hands a step from the right and I'm just to the step thumb roll same time Catching to the stall. So the second step from here, I'm just doing one tap by my paw. So like this. And I'm just uh, catching the bottle as I can. You can catch to the left hand, for example. Just do the just do that tap and catch the bottle. So and do this all together, always.
if you don't plant the bottle and yeah the bottle is start to drop same time you can push the bottom and do the tap like this and the third step you can join the hand tap from here as I'm showed you the, in the move before the same absolutely the same so look Yeah, catching here, tapping here, and then tapping here, change the grip and catch. From this move you can build your own moves. And also it's so important for your creativity and inventiveness. So do it, learn it, and use it very well for your comments. And yeah. Watch the Muslim videos in my YouTube channel. See you in the next video.